Hey everyone, Nick Nader here, Senior Solution Engineer with ISOS Technology. And today we're gonna to be highlighting one of Atlassian's top functionalities within their cloud platform, Atlassian Intelligence. And of course they called it that because it is an AI functionality. So let's dive in and check out what Atlassian Intelligence can do across their three major products. Jira, Jira Service Management, and Confluence. Now, Atlassian Intelligence is native to Atlassian's cloud platform, meaning if you're an administrator for your site, you can navigate to the admin page that you see here and essentially enable the AI functionality for all of your various cloud products and start to test out their features, which they tend to beta monthly and update pretty frequently. Now, Atlassian Intelligence is not their only AI tool. They recently acquired Rovo AI as well, which should be hitting GA here in about a month or so. And we'll release a full video on what Rovo is capable as well. Now, the first thing I want to show is here within uh, normal Jira issue filtering. So with Atlassian Intelligence, we don't need to utilize the basic dropdown feature uh, or even the advanced JQL syntax language, we can use natural language to ask it to search for various issues that we're looking for uh, within various projects in statuses. You can really use natural language to ask it anything and see if it works and then tweak it and adjust it from there. You'll need to spell things correctly like the values or the fields that you're looking for. Uh, but after you figure that out and type in uh, in a sentence like, hey, can I see issues assigned to Mitch that are in progress within the platform development project, uh, you should be able to very easily get that JQL syntax line uh, and then search for those issues and get a nice list view like these 13 issues that we see here. So very easy to just, of course, ask it something general and in natural language and then get the full syntax properly spaced, properly quotated, uh, all that good stuff that we struggle with normally as human beings. Um, in, in natural language, it's obviously much, much easier to find that kind of thing. Now, the next thing I want to show you is within uh, Jira's automation engine. And of course, you can do this within any Jira project or Jira service management project. And of course, when you utilize the automation engine, you're creating automation rules to automate your various processes uh, across your teams. And of course, you can do that from scratch. You can build that rule with your triggers and conditions and actions uh, each individually, uh, pulling in the components that they have to build with. You can utilize, of course, the templated rules here if it match something that you're trying to do. Uh, but with, of course, Atlassian Intelligence, we can again use natural language to just say, hey, I need to do this this frequently or when this happens uh, based off of these conditions, right? Only if these conditions are met. Now we can say, show me an example and it'll write something up for us. When an issue status is changed to done, then let's transi transition all those linked issues to done as well. You know, anything that's linked to it, of course, will probably be done if we are changing this issue status to done. Now we can preview that rule. So it'll start to build out that trigger and the branching and the conditioning. Uh, and then this is just a great starting point for us to customize it a little further. Um, maybe this does everything for us. Maybe we want to transition to a slightly different status um, because done is not our only resolution status or something like that. And of course, it's going to ask you, hey, did this go well? Should we try it again, build it a little differently? Um, and how is your experience with uh, Atlassian Intelligence building an automation rule for you? So it can do things that are basic like this. Hey, transition all of my linked issues. Or, or it can do something a little more complex if you ask it to conditionalize those actions a little more or branch off for different types of issues uh, or those various more complex rules that you can use within that automation engine. Of course, this is really just a great starting point and then you'll probably want to customize your rule from there. Now, the next thing I want to show is within Jira Service Management. Uh, so what we're looking at here is an incident with our billing system that is apparently sending duplicate bills to our customers. Uh, now I'm the agent that is handling this incident request. Um, Jennifer is the one that submitted the incident report. Uh, and I'm here in the comment stream uh, replying to Jennifer for the first time. So I'm saying, hi Jennifer, we're working on resolving the issue des you described. Do you remember providing a little more information? It's not quite enough for us to go off of, maybe some screenshots or something like that. Thanks support team. Now the nice thing is if I'm not the most eloquent uh, with language, I can type slash AI in here and I can allow Atlassian Intelligence to assist with my writing. 
So I can say, hey, let's brainstorm a list of ideas. Can we summarize the writing that I wrote? Can we improve it or enhance it? Fix spelling or grammar, change the tone to empathetic or professional or casual or educational, or even create a JIRA issue out of the comment that I was writing. Uh, more likely we would be creating it out of a comment from the customer or something like that. Uh, so we're gonna try something like, let's change the tone to be a little more professional and it'll generate uh, what it thinks is a little bit more professional of a comment here. And then we can say, hey, can you try it again? I can copy and paste this somewhere else. I can insert it below uh, what I have here, or I can just replace it fully. Um, and there's a lot of different things that you can do, of course, with language and AI. So even if I wanted to just say, hey, can we improve this writing and make it a little more robust? It'll add a little more fancy vocabulary, uh, and then we can replace it with you know what that AI is suggesting. Um, we'll have to replace our at mention here because it looks like um, it didn't pick that up. So we're saying, hey, Jennifer, we are actively working on resolving the concern you raised uh, much better than, hey, we're working on your issue. Uh, can you kindly share more information about the particular errors or outcomes experienced by customers? It's, it's much better. It, it really makes me come off as a much more empathetic and professional uh, support agent here and you can really do this across uh, you know any of the projects that you have any of the canned responses that you have and we can uh, go ahead and send that to Jennifer now so that she realizes hey we need a little more information from her now the very cool part here is you can also summarize what's going on with this issue once you have a description from your uh, reporter as well as comments from you and your reporter and it'll be only of course visible to you and it'll say hey this is what Jennifer has said about the issue and this is what the agent has said about the issue. If you're a manager this is a really good tool to check in and see especially if you have like 50 comments on a major incident you know what has happened throughout uh, that incident resolution and of course they're always asking for feedback so we're going to give them a nice thumbs up now i want to jump into the confluence product next atlassian intelligence being a large language model uh, will of course have a lot of functionality when you have a lot of documentation and words for it to consume a lot of information for it to consume and spit back and generate answers summarize content help you improve your writing formatting your confluence pages and of course what i want to look at first improving confluence search confluence search has historically been painful for a lot of users. Uh, but with Atlassian Intelligence, uh, it, uh, with, still within beta, of course, uh, has a lot better uh, generative responses where it can search content across your entire Confluence platform and give you answers without you even having to go in and read those articles. Now we can look at something uh, like their suggested uh, examples here, like what is the vacation policy? And it will of course give you links to the most relevant articles within your Confluence page, uh, but it's also gonna write up uh, an article about, or sorry, a response about what your vacation policy is. So hey, the vacation policy at ISIS technology includes paid leave benefits, sick time, uh, with no impact on vesting of equity awards while receiving pay from the company, right? So it gave me a little bit of information and it has a source for me to dig dig in and read more information if I need to. Now we're gonna ask it something a little more custom here. Uh, we're going to ask it about uh, our process for documenting eTrace bugs and see what it gives us uh, with that generated content here. Now, of course, it's gonna show you very quickly what the search results are, um, but it's also gonna generate this full response. And uh, this came from our eTrace bug reporting process document here, um, but it summarized it for me very concisely so that without even digging into our full process document and having to pick out and find uh, what we need to document when we find an eTrace bug, I can just read these five main things that we need to document uh, here in the search functionality and then be on my way and start documenting this eTrace bug that I found. So a lot easier to find content using natural language, asking questions of the AI and having it already automatically summarize the content from that document that you're looking for without your human brain having to go in and, and do it itself. The final thing I want to show is within Confluence documentation. So what we can do is a couple things with uh, Atlassian Intelligence within our documentation. If we're viewing a document like we he are here, uh, how to set up our Zoom platform, uh, you'll see up in here in the top right that we can essentially click the summarize button to say, hey, this document is very long. Can you just give me the, the short of it? 
uh, and it'll very quickly summarize what's within your document and you can copy that information and say, hey, let, let me slack this to someone who's asking me how to set up Zoom, right? Maybe you're the IT guy and you get this question a thousand times a day. How do I set up Zoom? How do I automatically turn my camera off when I join meetings? Um, then you can very easily just grab the summary of all of your process docs and ship it to those uh, employees or coworkers that bother you every single day about it. Now, the other thing you have up here is summarize comments. So if this is say a knowledge base article and you have a bunch of customers giving you feedback within the comments, on that knowledge base article, you can summarize all of the sentiment and artificial intelligence, Atlassian intelligence will say, hey, this is what the general sentiment is. These are the most popular comments that are upvoted or, or thumbs up. So you get some feedback about how that article is written. Now, when you go into the edit version of a document like our how to set up Zoom document here, you can, of course, utilize Atlassian intelligence to help your writing. So even if you've already written something or if you're trying to write something new, if you highlight something here, uh, you'll see this little write icon and you'll also see change tone and rewrite. So I can very easily say, hey, let's make this a little more professional and it'll, of course, rewrite this section a little more professionally uh, or and we can discard this or if I highlight it and say, hey, can we just rewrite this to improve writing, spelling, grammar, make it shorter, let's just summarize this because it's already too long. And of course, when we hit this write button, we'll actually see kind of all of this functionality and what Atlassian Intelligence can do when it comes to writing within Confluence pages, right? And the other really cool part here that I really like is you can translate it to a ver various different languages so that you can very easily write or copy documentation uh, to all the different languages of your users, right? So if we have um, some Europeans in Norway or Sweden that we need to write documentation for and we don't wanna you know, have to dump it over into Google Translate and then copy paste it into a Confluence page, uh, we can translate it right here uh, straight into Swedish, copy this and dump it into a new page uh, that we've created for all of our Swiss employees or customers. Thanks so much for joining me. Again, Nick Nader, Senior Solution Engineer at ISOS Technology. You can visit our website at isostech.com. We're a platinum level solution partner of Atlassians. So we do every service imaginable with every single Atlassian product. So if you need some experts to help you with your Atlassian suite, don't hesitate to visit our website and contact us so that our experts can help you out with anything that you need.